Hello, lovelies. <laughs> I'm so glad to be back. I had a wonderful weekend in Lake Tahoe. It was so what my soul was needing. I needed to recharge, rest, take a step back and come back fresh and alive and way better to serve you. <laughs> um, so I'm excited. I just wanted to share with you um, a lot of times, well, there's many things I want to share with you, but I'll start here. So a lot of times we like to like push and hustle and like force things and make things happen. And um, sometimes what we really need is to just take a step back and to, um, and to receive, receive nourishment, receive love, receive uh, guidance. And that's exactly where I was at. Like I was just feeling like, I know I have a big mission in this world and I know that there's a lot of ways that I'm going to serve. And sometimes they can feel really overwhelming and really heavy. And I had kind of gotten myself to the place of like, um, one, I, I was, I've been doing really well at taking care of myself as far as like what I'm eating and things like that, but I wasn't really moving my body a whole lot. And so I definitely needed to shift that. And, um, which, oh, FYI, I'm down almost, I'm like two and a half pounds away from being at my 20 pound mark. Woo -woo. Um, and it's only like day 28. How amazing is that? So I'm super excited. Uh, yeah random squirrel moment. Okay. So back to what I was saying. So I had, you know, sometimes like those feelings can be really overwhelming. And especially if you fall into like, I like to call it like spiritual amnesia where you forget like, Oh yeah, I can connect to spirit. Oh yeah. I can like actually slow down and receive. And, um, I was just feeling a lot of like anxious energy. It was like a lot of feelings of like, how am I ever going to get this done? Will I be able to do this in time? I had this like weird sense of like feeling like I was running out of time. And, um, and so I, I realized that I just needed to disconnect and go away and, and spend some time like decompressing and coming back to myself and coming back to spirit and, um, and just connecting back um, in that way, because a lot of times what happens, especially I'm finding that it's kind of difficult being in a, in a big city, um, especially being so highly sensitive. Um, a lot of times people who are highly sensitive and empaths, like have a difficult time being in, in a large city because there is so much energy and so much, you know, varieties of energy that we're all taking on. And, um, for me, there's not a ton of nature nearby. Like there are some hiking trails, which is great. Um, uh, but it's still, you got to drive quite a, quite a ways to get to them. And, um, and me being a fish, <laughs> I love being near the ocean. And for me to get to the ocean right now is about a two hour hike. So, um, so I just know that my body, my soul has been missing, like, that nature aspect. And, um, and so it's important to also notice like what environments really support you? Like what type of environments do you need as, you know, someone who is highly sensitive or is an empath, like what best suits you in your living environment? Um, so that's something that I've been taking a look at and being that we're not going to have a place, um, I shouldn't say that. Let me rephrase that. I was going to say we weren't going to have a place to live in October. That's not true. Um, being that we're only renting this place until October, um, you know, that means we have new choices coming, new opportunities coming available to us. So, um, so that's something I'm keeping in mind going forward. And then the other piece is that I straight up sometimes forget to connect and that happens even though I'm psychic, even though I'm a medium, even though I'm highly intuitive, I forget that that's an option 
which sounds ridiculous, right? But it's true. And when we get to that state where we're feeling like overwhelmed and stressed and anxious and all these feelings, that's a clear sign. Anytime there's any like self doubt or anxiousness or it's a clear sign that any negative, really <laughs> any negative emotions that we're feeling is a clear sign that we're relying on our own strength instead of relying on spirit and allowing ourselves to, to receive guidance. Excuse me, I have the hiccups. Um, so it's important to, if you're in that space, to take a step back and allow yourself to connect back to, to your higher power, to yourself, and it will really help clear away a lot of that anxious feeling. Um, that's exactly what I needed to do this weekend. I was, um, you know, I was in Lake Tahoe and I like spent time journaling and just connecting back to nature and did some yoga and went for a hike and like all of that just refreshed my soul and my spirit. And it also was a good indicator to me that like, that's the kind of stuff I really need. I need more, you know, I'm, I'm exploring this world of like more pleasure and more fulfillment and joy in my life. And it's one of the clear signs that told me like, I need adventure. Like I need, I crave, um, being out in nature. I crave connecting to myself and to, um, source and to other people too. Um, I was there with a friend of mine who she's a beautiful songwriter and singer check her out on Spotify. She's really awesome. Her name is Jaden LaRue, L-A-R-U-E. And like I wrote a song with her, it was super fun. And I had never done anything like that. But just that like connecting and having community, like it reminded me so much that like sometimes being an entrepreneur, we can feel so isolated and alone. And so it's important to make sure you get out and be part of other people <laughs> be part of a community be part of you know creating with others and so this weekend was just really powerful for me it was really um, a great chance for me to connect back to myself and to kind of fill up my tank again so I had more to give because that's really what I want to do is give and but if I'm coming from a place of like overwhelm and stress and anxiousness like that doesn't do anybody any good so um, one of the other things I did while I was there is um, I I did a, a little ritual where I basically wrote down and I, I would I share this with you because I think it's a great exercise to do um, you know part of what I'm creating here like like I said, it feels like a really big mission, what I'm doing here. And I had to get clear on why I was doing it. And so part of what I did was, and and I think it's two, a two part thing. It's like, know why you're doing what you're doing, like what your intention is. Hey girl, um, know why you're doing what you're doing. Know what that intention is because when things get challenging, you got to be able to go back to that and say like, oh yeah, this is why I'm doing it, right? So there's a lot of things I can be doing. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I love the mermaid. <laughs> um, there's a lot of things I could be doing, but I have to get really clear on what it is I want, what I desire, what I, what really excites me and lights me up. And, and so part of what I did was to um, to get clear on that, right? What is my intention? What, why am I doing what I'm doing? And then the second part is detaching from any kind of outcome or any kind of like expectation or like understanding of who I am, right? Like detaching from, like there's so many labels we have on ourselves, right? It's like, and so one of the things one of my mentors suggested to me was to do an exercise where you just write down like, who am I? And you write out all the things that you can think of, like who am I without 
Or who am I if I wasn't a mom? Who am I if I wasn't a photographer? Who am I if I wasn't a coach? Who am I if I didn't have money? If I didn't have a home? Who am I if I, like we're so attached to things and the more we can detach, and that doesn't mean like stop loving these things and stop, um, you know, caring about them. It's not about having apathy. It's about like opening your heart to the possibilities, but detaching from the outcome of what it means or what it says about you. Like what would it mean if you didn't have a home? Does it mean anything about you? What does it mean, you know, and it really started to like going through that process and getting down to the like very core of it. It was like, who am I? I'm, I'm a beautiful soul. No matter what my external circumstances are, I'm still a good person. I'm still someone who loves and wants to give and is here to help make the world a better place. Like, and even if you took all of that away, like it doesn't mean anything about me. And so the more we can detach from the labels we give ourselves or the things that we think we need to achieve or, you know, it's great to have goals, but like have goals with soul, like know why you're doing it and know what's driving you. Like there's nothing wrong with wanting material things, but like, know why you want it like get down to the deeper levels of like what is driving you and when you can do that you can really start to i think connect more to like the feelings around it and then you can let it go as to like how it's supposed to work out like we all whenever we get disappointed it's because we have attachments and we have expectations as to how it's supposed to go and let me tell you, I struggle with this a bit because it's like, oh, well, I've got, you know, I want to have it all figured out, like what I'm, where I'm going in business and what's going to happen and whatever. And I need to just like release that and let it go and just focus on serving and knowing my why, like knowing why I do what I do. And so it makes me laugh because like, I, I, I may have used this analogy before, but I just think it's so good. It's like, I get all these puzzle pieces, right? To like, what I'm building, but I feel like somebody took the freaking box away with the picture on it, right? It's like, I want to know what the picture looks like, but I can't like do that. I have to just take the one piece at a time and, and put it on the table and then just see what unfolds, like see what happens. And so, um, so yes, I was reminded of all of this, like being there, um, this weekend. I also, um, I do a lot of writing to my spirit guides. Um, I hadn't for a while, but I got back into that practice over the weekend uh, because it's such a great way to connect and also to kind of like calm your mind and, and get answers that you're looking for. And one of the things I wrote is that feeling of like anxiousness and like, what am I gonna, like, how do I, oh, I feel like I'm running out of time. Like I need to do this within a certain amount of time, right? And, um, you know, cause I am 41 <laughs> just makes me laugh. Um, and what I got back, like what, what came through was that, um, that time is really an illusion. And when we can take time to like actually play and get inspired, being inspired is being with spirit, but we take time to play and be more childlike and to, um, express ourselves like in ways that are really fun for us like time slows down times like do you remember when you're a kid it's like summer seemed to last forever because we were just so like in the moment and like just playing and it really felt as though time like just expanded and I noticed that happened even this weekend like being there and and slowing down and taking time to play and just be in the the joy of like the company I was with and being in joy with what I was doing allowed time to like slow down. And so if you feel like time is really like just racing by and you're like, where the frick did the day go? Like 
try playing for a day. Like take the friggin' day off and just go play and be inspired and see what happens to time. Now I'm not saying that you do that every single day. Like we don't all have time to like play all day long, right? But when you do that, you're gonna feel so much more like fueled and filled up that you can bring more inspiration, bring more joy into your work and you'll know where to go. You'll know what direction to head. And of course, having a mentor is, is helpful in that way. You know, having support is helpful. But it's just, it's so important to take that time to like take a step back, connect back to yourself and say like, okay, what, what's going on here? Like, what am I doing? Like, where am I headed? And all you need to do is ask, what is the next right step that I should take? That's all you gotta do. Play, be inspired, and ask what's the next step. And trust that everything will be revealed in due time. And so that was really a big, that was big for me. It helped kind of calm, it, it gave me some peace around that feeling of like, I don't have enough time. And, um, and so, yeah, just taking the time to connect this weekend was so helpful. And so I encourage you to do that for yourself too. If you're feeling like overwhelmed and stressed and like, ah, oh, I've got so much to do. Like that's a sign for you to like hold up, take a step back and, and feel into yourself again, feel into your, you know, your higher power and connect back to, um, connect back to yourself and go play, like go have fun, play, get, get inspired, get lit up and just come back when you feel like, okay, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. That's what I wanted to share with you today. Um, I'm so excited. Um, I feel like I have just, I feel filled up again and that excites me because then I can share that with you. So, um, yeah, I feel like that part's complete. Um, the other thing I wanted to share and I'll be talking more about this coming up is that, um, so one of the things I've really started to recognize within myself is that one of my gifts is I can see kind of the bigger picture for people and then I can help hold that vision until they get there. And so I am pulling, pulling together, hey, welcome. I am pulling together a beautiful offer for you guys where basically it's like a, ro a vision roadmap for the next like three to six months. We take a look at what you're doing, where you're at, um, how your branding and marketing efforts are going. I give you feedback on that as well as, um, you know, where, where to focus next. It's really a, a, a map to get you really clear on what to be doing, what to be working on. Because a lot of times in business, we get a little lost in that, right? It's like, um, we know there are things we want to do. Sometimes we don't even have a vision. Like we just are like, well, I want to, I want to coach or I want to, you know, be a photographer or I want to do this, but we don't have a clear vision of what that looks like or where we're going. So, one of the things I'm excited to be offering you guys soon, um, I'll be working on that today, is um, is an offer to do a 90 minute call where we'll really sit down and look at where are you, where you wanna be, and what are you doing now, and just making little adjustments or tweaks to help you really get on track to where you wanna go. Um, now, of course, if you want to go deeper into that, then we're talking about mentorship that is available too. Um, but this is a really great way to kind of kick it off. If you're just like, oh, I'm just feeling a little like stuck or lost or I don't know where I'm going or what I'm doing, this will help give you a very clear, I guess, um, roadmap to what's next, like to where you want to go next. And then, um, yeah, I'm really excited about it because it's something that's kind of like naturally progressed. Um, and so I'm really excited to, to share that with you. But um, yeah, so let's see. Connecting back to yourself. Just making sure I'm covering everything. 
um, brand new roadmap. Yeah, I think that's it for today. <laughs> um, but I'm really excited. Lots of good stuff coming your way. And if you haven't gotten a chance to jump into the pleasure challenge, cause that will be coming down on Friday. And, um, based on the polls, it looks like we may be creating our first course, which is exciting. Um, and that would start next week. So if you haven't gotten a chance, I'm trying to give you guys like a good, um, week in between challenges so that it's not like so much, right? Um, and like I said, like these aren't going to be gone forever. Like I am building a membership site that you're going to be invited into. Um, and then you can access things as you wish. Um, however that looks for you on your own time. But if you're wanting to like do them, um, you know, pro bono, I would say jump on those now before they come down and then, yeah. We'll go from there, but I'm excited. Um, next week's challenge will be lots of fun. And so start thinking about things you might want to, um, you might want to offer. Think about asking your groups, or if you, if you don't have a group, think about what you might want to offer. Um, if you have groups, start asking them, pulling them, like, what do you guys want to know about? Like, what do you want? Just like I ask you, like, what do you want to know about? What, you know, what kind of challenge do you want next? Ask, ask them, like, what do you need support with most right now in your life? And either let them uh, respond, you know, with their own comments or put together like a, a little poll. And I can do a video on how to do that too. I'll put that in the, the group here. But yeah, for now, uh, jump in, jump into the pleasure challenge and check it out and I will see you soon. Uh, I'll probably either later today or tomorrow be offering uh, the brand or the map, the roadmap sessions. So watch for that, it'll be exciting. Other than that, that's all I got for you right now. I love you, love you, love you. Oh, one other thing. Um, Maybe I'll do a poll on this. Um, I've been really feeling... Okay, so here's the thing. Women are on the rise, right? Women are opening up. I mean, a lot of people are, not just women. But especially there's this whole, like, rise in, in women, you know? Like, uh, you know, women rising. You'll see a lot of stuff like that. Um, it's like our time. And yes, I believe that's true. And I really feel, I have this really deep feeling that like men are kind of being left behind. And that really hurts my heart because I think, you know, the truth is we both need each other. Like we need to have men really um, step into their masculine and their feminine, just like we need to be in our feminine and our masculine. We need both to, um, to go on. It's like, if you have, you know, we've had the patriarch system for so long, I believe there can be trouble if it's all matriarch too, you know, like we need balance within both. And so I'm really feeling called to open up to men as well. And I just wanted to kind of get your feelings on like, are you ladies open to allowing men into this group? Now, of course, they will be screened, and if there's anybody causing any whatever, like, they'll be out. But, like, I really want to know, like, how you feel about um, about a, allowing men into our group. I think the more we can show, like, love and compassion and also know that, like, they need help too, um, I think the better we all become. You know, we all rise together. And that's really... Um, it's an interesting shift for me because for a long time I didn't want to work with men. It didn't feel safe. And now I feel completely the opposite about it. I feel like men need support too. And there's so many women out there helping women too. And I feel very called and drawn towards women, but I'm also starting to feel more called towards 
towards men too. So I just wanted to get your feel on that. Like, let me know. Um, I'll put a poll and let me know how you feel about opening up the group to men too. And um, yeah, I mean, they'd of course be men who are like entrepreneurs and things like that. I feel like it could give a good, um, I feel like we can always learn from one another. So let me know how you feel about that. If anything, I could always, I guess, create a second group. Just doesn't sound fun, but we'll see. <laughs> okay, trying to keep it simple. All right, love you, love you, and I will talk to you so soon. Mwah!